I got in touch with a like a drug agency in London um, and they provided me with some counselling and support and different things like that and they got me into a, a like a day treatment programme which I did for six weeks um, and I stayed clean during those six weeks and I and I relapsed just before Christmas you know it was just never fucking ending ever it felt like still smoking quite a bit of pot and take a bit of acid and ecstasy at gigs and like, but nothing overly heavy. <laughs> Odd time you've got me though, a bit of a heavy binge last week that just, I guess you could call it a relapse of such and mate had a bit of mess and <laughs> decided to offer me some and that led me to go collect a few old debts and the like, but, <laughs> but yeah, no, these days, um, yeah, I won't say I'm not using, but and I didn't really want to do it on my own. I wanted to do it with everyone. And I and I would I would just talk to them as you know I can talk. And I would talk to them all night. And we'd even be doing drugs and I'd be telling them this needs to stop, you know, this is what's gonna happen, blah, 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 blah. And we'd all agree, and yes, we'd all agree, and then I'd get into these terrible, you know, angry rages when I'd found out that they hadn't stopped, and then I'd use again and oh it was that silly cycle. Yeah, not living in reality. I had difficulty going back like showing my face at meetings were after relapsing all the time because I just felt really embarrassed and it was like a humiliating feeling to keep going back and saying I've relapsed again, I've relapsed again.